live both places. Good evening to you. Let me increase the contrast. Okay. Good evening to you all. Good evening, my kings and my queens. Greetings to you all. Yes, I'm here again to talk about general talks on spirituality and our ancestral heritage what it means to us how we connect to it whether we like it or we don't like it mm -hmm. thank you sound city audio so that's what i'm here to talk about today so if you're joining the video please do me a favor and do all that a favor and share okay and share let's rub mine together let me I know I cannot be done with this topic, but I need to round off this live stream. Hmm? I need to round it off. Because if we start talking about our ancestors and all those things, like, it's never going to stop. There is no end to it. The spiritual heritage, everything, there is no end to it. You talk and talk a whole day and you, you see that you're still talking. Before I continue, I would like to call out my phone number. The reason I call out my phone number in my videos is for those that download videos and they will give you the number they want to give you. They will post my video, they will write another number for people. So I try to talk about my phone number in between my videos. Mm -hmm. That way you have the right number. And sometimes people come to WhatsApp. Ah, I want to call you. You have to take you you have to take um video call i'm not taking any video call from anybody i do not owe anybody any video call you don't have any video call i'll be taking in a day so i rather just call the number here you listen for those who want to listen and then pick the number from there if you trust the one i typed mm -hmm. so my phone number is plus two three four seven zero Three zero five seven zero five zero six. Mm -hmm. I will take that again. Plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six. All right. So I want to talk about um, continue more like a round of the last time I was talking about our ancestors and all those spiritual heritage, our ancestral heritage, the spiritual implications and all that. When you I reside in Lagos. Greetings, Tandy Queen. Greetings, Messi Anne. Greetings, uh, Chuku Augustina. Greetings, Goretti Dave. Valesa Valet. Greetings to you all. Greetings, Kings and Queens. I greet you all. Okay, so um, I'm done with the greetings. Let's. I genuinely be We cannot overemphasize. Um, get up, hey. Beke, 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 beke. We cannot overemphasize on. The, the importance of the connection we have with our ancestors, we cannot overemphasize it. They are speaking to us even as we speak. You're welcome, Substress. They speak to us even as we speak. They use different symbols, different things to talk to us. But what do we do? When you, when you see any of those signs, you quickly run to your church and you are like, I buy that cast, I rebuke. You buy that cast and rebuke what you don't know. Let me give you an instance. A school offers you scholarship. Maybe they've told you that school is so evil. A school offers you scholarship. You're looking for scholarship. And then you're looking for money to pay your school fees. I, I, I'm trying to get the, the best scenarios for this. You're, you're praying to get school fees or something like that. You're praying to God to get, and your ancestors decide to give you maybe scholarship through a school and then because it's coming from your ancestors you don't even know maybe the face is coming with someone from your village you're like yeah hey, bind your cast and rebuke you and the person goes off with the scholarship and you're still there praying for a prayer that has already been answered by your ancestors and because you're not in good terms and you're not ready to receive that blessing because you keep lying to yourself that they are evil you and I are going to have children. Some of you that are watching me, you already have children. Tomorrow, you're going to die. Tomorrow, you're going to be uh, 
Tomorrow you're going to be uh, an ancestor. Tomorrow your children, children will be in the church and they'll be binding and rebuking. I hope you'll be happy in your grave wherever you are. I hope you'll be happy to see people you labored for. To see those who you suffered to bring into this plane. Those you granted passage because you were granted passage by others. Speaking evil of you. Leopold, a pink man. Is he Leopold the two or Leopold the sixteen or Leopold whatever he was? That was one of the chief architects. I think he's a is he, is he from Portugal? I don't know where. All I know is that he's a pink man. Was cutting the hands of your ancestors for not producing enough cotton or working hard at the farm. I've not seen any of you. I've not seen any of you. I've not seen any of his ancestors, his um, children praying against him or saying he should die by fire or he should do all his evil. I'm not here to promote evil. Now, we need to understand the difference between forefathers and ancestors. It's just like when we say all mothers are women, but not all women are mothers. Or all fathers are men, but not all men are fathers. All ancestors are forefathers, but not all forefathers are ancestors. Who are the ancestors? We are talking about our ascended masters, those who lived before us, those who really lived well, our saints. You go to your church and you call on Saint John to pray for you. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Inca, pray for us. Saint this, pray for us. But when I when I call on Saint Okeke, call on Okori, Okafo, Okonko, Mbweke, Mbwafo, Mbwanko, it becomes evil. I become an idol worshiper. You put on effigies, you put on statues in your church that you bow down to. But when you see those who honor their ancestors, they tend to look evil to you. Why? It's because you've been brainwashed. And you want to stick with that brainwash. And you want to recycle it. And you want to continue to do that. I feel talking there, man. To continue recycling idiocy. We have ancestors who fought for us to be here. We have, after this video, I think the next video I'm going to do is the four seasons in evil spirituality. The four seasons of the world. Ogaka, Ogachi, Ogao, and Ogaze. I'm going to talk about it in my next video. I've been, I've had the knowledge to talk about it for a long time, but it keeps eluding me. But each time I bring up this topic on ancestors, it will always flash through because you can't talk about what is happening now. How we got here without talking about it. The rise and fall. There's a rise and fall in every civilization. There's no heaven and hellfire that you're going to when you die. There's only the other side. There's only the parallel universe. You have people around you that you cannot see, but they can see you. You can't see them because they do not have a body. Because they're existing in vibrations, energies and frequencies. That is what they are. They are cheese. They are atoms. That is why you cannot see them. For you to see someone in this physical room, that person has to wear a body. Which is why we use this body to come here. We have all that other alternate realities. Even if we don't want to believe and talk about them, it is there. You see masquerade always pursuing you your dream. You don't know if your ancestors trying to speak to you. Because in Igbos, we call human being mando. And we call spirit mo, the masculine, we call it mau, mau, mau. Which is, which translates to beauty of death, spirit of death. We see the beauty in everything. The masquerade institution is a cult. It's not only the Igbos that do it. Yorubas, the Aousas, virtually all African countries. This is something. It is spiritual. Do you know that when someone wears the mask of a masquerade, this person is possessed by that spirit. And they speak. So when next you see 
masquerade pursuing you in your dream. Know that your ancestors are trying to reach out to you. They want to pass a message. Is that you continue asking questions before you sleep? My ancestors, those who own me and those I own. What are you trying to tell me? What message are you trying to tell me? Yes, they will take their, yes, they will call it Halloween. And everybody, you will see Christians, they are celebrating Halloween. But once they see masquerade, ah, Holy Ghost fire, ah, die, die. Self-hate, that is our problem. Self-hate, if not self-hate, tell me why a black woman will be bleaching her skin. If it is not self-hate, we hate ourselves so much. We hate our complexion. If not self-hate, tell me why a black woman is going to buy artificial foreign hair to, to or strengthen. You, you are the black, beautiful. You, you have the, 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 the kinky hair. You have the locks. That is so much filled with spiritual powers. Oh, you don't know why they call it dreadlocks. Or oh, you both call it dreadlocks. Otherwise, it is, it, is, it is lock. To me, it is not dreadful. It is locks. It is a part of who I am. It is an integral part of my being. So it is dada. Yes, exactly dada. Not dreadlocks. Oh, you both call it dreadlocks because they're dread people who carry this hair. They had extreme power. When you see dada, dadas are not ordinary. They carry this power in them that even in your Bible, they try to tell you with the story of Samson. Your hair is like antenna. It points towards the sun. Samson in the Bible, the moment Delilah cut his hair, he lost his strength. He couldn't do anything. That was the way he connected to the universe. That was the way he connected to his source. It's like antenna. When you buy GoTV, DSTV, you cannot receive signal without the antenna. I be whatever the dish. Your hair is your crown. Your glory. So imagine when you have a dream, somebody is shaving your hair in the dream. That is not nice. Nobody should be shaving anybody's hair. It also signifies mourning. Pains. Because even when they cut a woman's, in Igbo tra tradition, when they cut a woman's hair, is when she's mourning. Even in your Bible, it is depicted. Whenever they say this one mourned, he cut his hair, he threw ash on himself, and he went into, he started crying, he mourned for seven days. So when someone is cutting your hair, that is not a good sign. And that is why you should be careful. Places you go to cut your hair and leave it there. You should be careful. Things are happening. I'll talk about this in another video. Go to cut your hair with clear mind. And somebody, some saloon operators are busy carrying people's hair to give to some certain people. To use it for one nonsense or the other. May our she always protect us. Because a whole lot of things is going on. People do a whole lot of rubbish just for money. I was talking about our ancestors, those who were good, those who are ascended, those who lived well. I'm not talking about those who sold us out. It's not every dead parent that is an ancestor. No. There are those. It's just like, let me, Britain's king. It's just like Catholic people. In the Catholic Church, before they, they canonize someone or confer sainthood on somebody, they want to go through their lives to know the kind of lives they lived. If they lived their life worthy of emulation, if that person was keeping their hands clean, they check all these things before they say, okay, this person is a saint. That is the way it is. Before somebody can be called an ancestor, that means they live their life that is what it is. Or well, it's beyond even just the life. Those who are ascended, when you finally become an ascended, that means you've overcome this flesh. You know, this flesh comes with a whole lot of things. It comes with a whole lot of baggage. That we try, we living in this place, we try to get over it, we try to defeat it, but it gets difficult. It's not easy to live in this body. I will tell you congratulations once again if you're living here. You're one of the strongest people in the whole multiverse, universe. It takes the strongest to live here. 
Some spirits cannot survive here. That is why they don't want to come here. They would rather possess somebody, do what, what they want to do, and they will get the fuck off. They would rather possess somebody than to come and live in this place. It takes a very strong mind to want to live here in this place. This is one of the hardest places to live in. The hardest living on earth. Limited by this body. Do you know that there were people that became ancestors even while they were still living? There are some of our ancestors. Hmm? They are no longer even okay. They are just a more. There are some of our ancestors that lived to that point that they've ascended even while in this flesh. <laughs> but it takes a lot. The time when they did that is gone. And we're only trying to get back what we lost. Do you know what it means to be ascended? Able to pass through walls without all go. Let me tell you, let me tell you one of the stories that depicted our ancestors. As in ascending while still alive. They leave this world without dying. Let me give you a bit of the story in the Bible. You know, when I want to talk to you, there is a reason. I go for your Bible because I know most of us were, um, how do I put it? Most of us were Christians or are still Christians. So you can relate when I tell you it is in your Bible. Let's look at Enoch and Elijah. Okay, Kukeburu Elijah, is in any way or in any miracle again? But either way, Elijah knew the day he was going to ascend. And he went with Elisha. And Elisha, Elisha was holding on to his mantle before he went into thin air. Now, Elijah, there's no record of Elijah dying. He just went into the same air. There's no record of um, Enoch dying in your Bible. These are people that ascended while they were still alive. Which is not about making, is it, is it, is it scarification or this scarification or what on your face? That is not all about you, which greetings, Samuel and Mary. That is not what you which 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 is beyond making scars on your face. It's beyond that. Because at a point, people were now buying different things with their money and wealth. One a which is not about scarification. I be scarification. I be just no a kaifeni yidu. And different symbols. It's beyond that scar. Anybody can carry that scar. Because not anybody carrying that scar can ascend. What it means to truly ascend, to operate beyond your body, to transport yourself between space and time. That means you've reached that point where you overcame your body. Only a few people reach this point in their lifetime. The majority continue from the other side. Only a few reach this point. The majority weigh themselves on the other side. So why would you disconnect yourself? What do you stand with? Why do we have children? Most of the time, the major reason people have children is someone to... I was in a live stream and this lady was talking about the brother. That the brother na apu I think no na son so ko no na apu More like he's not all that okay. And they want, they went to bring a woman for him so that this woman can have a child for him so that his name doesn't go off. They had the money to do that. They had the resources and they married the woman for him. Now, most of us, we, we have children to succeed us. So you have children to succeed you tomorrow and they turn around to be binding and casting and ridicule. Was that what you did to your own parents? We have children to carry on our legacy. And again, in Igbo, we say, Oya They grant you passage, grant another person. If they give birth to you, you give birth to the another person. As no, we won't quite look at why it's a mutibia. 
Amwa ge muto yozo. That is how we got here. If our ancestors stopped procreating, you and I will not be here. We will not have different chances at different right, um, lifetimes. So why, don't you see the need to connect to your roots? Do you not see the need to make peace with who you are? Your ancestors are like your roots. Fabo Porogo. Your aquara. Everything in you. Imagine a tree. Exactly. Imagine a tree without its roots. That that plant is never going to survive. Oh, you see now why you To hang when when the wind comes to just fall down. But when a tree has a strong root, whatever the wind is, whichever way it's put, instead of falling, or the or, or the wind of life pushing you down, you dance in it. You dance. You always find a way out of it. You know, sometimes your ancestors come with, comes with it. When they want to come to you, this is the way they come to you. There is your father's face, your mother's face, or your uncle's face, or your auntie's face. That is how they come. Or they use a masquerade. These are the two times they use. Or sometimes they can just come by themselves. I think I've shared on this space how I encountered my ancestor for the first time live in my room in 2019. I was so scared. Then I wasn't this strong to see them without sleeping. <laughs> I'll repeat that story because I know different people follow my life at different times. You know, people were already telling me, oh, you will do this work, you will do this. Ah, I was still a Christian. I said, ah, it's not possible. Because my gift, the first part of my, of my gift that started manifesting is seeing dead people. Seeing people before they die. Because I'm a gatekeeper. So they pass. They come to pass. So I was like, I should stop. I, I, I'm not interested why are they only showing me dead people? They should be showing me where money is. Let me go and pluck it. This is not what I want to be seeing. That was my mentality. That was my mindset. That was the level I was operating on at that point. And for me to leave Christianity, leave religion, I keep saying it. <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise because I have my personal experience. I didn't leave Christianity because someone told me. No, because I had my own experience. I said I want to see them. Come and show me. No same person to tell me again. Come and show me. Most of the things you come to me, you can actually do it by yourself. You just have to put your mind to it. No same person to come and tell me again. Come and show me. This was it. I did some rituals that just came to my head that night. And I slept. I woke up to go and pee. April 2019. I woke up to go and pee. So don't say that. Now you are them now and I'm not married now. I left my room. The toilet was just outside my room. I was still staying with somebody then. I went outside after peeing. I was walking in and then I saw this man. Robust, fair. Red hat, let me say red cap, mm -hmm. with feathers, Abu Gugu, and white across his chest. And then with these coral stones, red stones he was putting on, and then he had this staff. I wasn't excited. I'm telling you with excitement now. I wasn't excited when I saw that. The first instinct, hey, I fell on the floor in my room. Greetings, John Neal from Ghana. I fell on I fell on the floor. I bind you, I cast you, I rebuke you. I looked up. He was still there. The second time, I bind you, I cast you, I rebuke you. I looked, he was still standing there. I was still on the floor. The third time, 
I bind you, I cast you, I rebuke you. I looked up, he wasn't there. I was shaking. That was when my brain blew. I said, ah, it's actually the people I invited that came home. That was when my brain blew. I called my sister. And said, ah, nah, 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 nah. look at, look at, look at. And she advised I call my father to find out. I described the man I saw to my father. I was never expecting that my father, my, my grandfather, my paternal grandfather was a fair man. I thought he was a dark man. He told me, I told my sister, she said, I should, I should describe this person. I asked my father, okay, I came stylishly. Who looks like your father? He said, it's him. I said, I'm not talking about character. Facially, who looks like your father? Because the person I saw looks like Uncle I described and I said, but the difference is that this person is fair. That was when my father told me that, that's his, that his father is actually fair. I didn't know the father was fair. Hey! And I told my sister, that's one of my ancestors. I... I said, I said, begging, I said, beg, I said, I'm sorry. Please, I'm not strong enough to see you physically. Please make it easier. Come in my dreams. I'm not strong enough to meet you physically. This was, this was my request. This was my prayer. And he came. Question on Joe Mobo. He asked me a question. That was what he used to greet me. I was at his feet. I said, I looked at him. I see we met a one bottle. Now I got a name in bottle. I see we have a good name. We said name bottle. So for you people that are binding and casting your ancestors, you only just agree. They will just, they will just not be happy with you. You are making noise. It's not as if you are, but you are binding yourself. Because when you do that, they get angry. They leave you to fight your battle by yourself. Have you not bounded yourself? You are without your roots. You're cursing yourself. Breaking their hearts. Causing them to look away. I just nodded. I didn't say anything. I nodded. He said, okay. Now I told you can't go for your age. That was the first time they gave me the that mandate to break color notes. That is why no man can tell me that I should not stop breaking color notes. Because these people don't even know. Ancestors, she no be all of us get the ancestors. Man, woman. I told him, but of course, now I had a gorge. The question was, but they said the woman cannot break color notes. He said, who said? That was how, and passed, he passed the same message to my father. They come to you. They want to relate with you, but no. When you see your dead um, father in the dream or dead uncle or anybody, the first thing that comes to your mind, oh, I rebuke you. You the dead have no dealing with Who told you the dead, the dead have no dealing with the living? Who told you? They have every dealing with the living. Yes. They have every business with the living. Catholic Church, on November 1st, they will do All Saints Day and All Souls. What are they doing with the dead? What deal do they have with it? Have you asked yourself? When you call on your ancestors, the spirits of your ancestors, it, beco it becomes a problem. But when you call on the spirit of St. Peter, these are people's ancestors. St. John, St. Paul. When you call on them, it becomes a problem. Your ancestral name is Okute, uh, Okute, but you change it to Peter because you want to anglicize yourself. What's the difference between Okute and Peter? If your name is Okute, ask Okute in peace. I haven't seen somebody's name is Ike. We now change your name to God's power. Why do you need to anglicize it and change the name? Why? Want to change your name? 
the one of the richest man in the world, his name is Bill Gates. What is Bill? Bill is he not um if you want to build somebody? <laughs> what is Gates? Is he not Onozo? Abi Gate, Abi Onozo Ama. What I will call him? Gates. Is it such a beautiful name to answer? One of the presidents of US, George Bush. Bush, is it not Ophia? Because your name is Ophia, you say you now went to and they changed your name to to, to what I don't know. You said you don't like Ewigwe. Hey, I don't like that name. Ewigwe, such a terrible name. Hey, all the um, witches and wizards in the village will start following me. Ewigwe. But you change your name to John. Who is John? John is son of thunder. And they call you Obere. You don't want to answer Obere. But Paul actually means little, small. What is it? We need to learn more we need to understand these things more we need to understand ourselves and understand that we come from somewhere and we are here on a mission until you achieve that christ consciousness that christhood you never start even me say i'm just starting i'm just beginning that christ consciousness is a difficult if it's a difficult place to get to the point where you kill your body and your soul emerges. The real you. That is what they are trying to tell you about Jesus dying and dying and then resurrecting after three days and then he ascended into heaven. They're trying to tell you how you have to reach that consciousness. He died at 33. Your vertebra column has 33. It's, there are 33 columns, columns in your vertebra. And that is when you reach your pineal intelligence gland. And that is where you reach your God, God consciousness. And that is the point where Jacob understood that truly God was, God, God is here. You need to reach your God self. You need to understand that Christ consciousness and know that you are part of the gods. We only have hierarchies. So when I call you my gods and goddesses, I'm not just talking. I call you that because I know that you are gods and goddesses. Even though you might not realize it. Well, that is who you are. But everybody in their own capacity. Hmm? Three ampere battery. And 75,000 ampere battery. All of them are battery. But the 75,000 ampere is bigger than the. It's just hierarchies. That's it. Hierarchies. Daludani. That is why when you when you do this thing, you do in the name of putting chi inside obesity. Your ancestors cringe. Why do you need to put your chi inside Obesi? If your chi wants to live inside Obesi, you won't be here. You will be the other side and then you put your chi inside Obesi. If the Obesi can function as your chi, you won't need, you won't need to be here. Because you are here because your chi felt, okay, I need to take a human form to be here. So your chi is already inhabiting this body. Why do you need to put your chi inside a stick, inside a wooden something, and be pouring blood that you're feeding your chi? So the only thing your chi came to do in this world... My TikTok handle is the same name you see here. Why? I made your Konami. If you type it together on TikTok, you're going to find me. So why do you need to? Is it, why do you need to put in? So the only thing your chick came to do is to just be here and you are pouring blood on it. And that is how you that no, your chick was here. Your chick came here because your chick is hungry for something. Your chick came here because he has the energy to change something around here. Your chi is here because he saw a problem and he has the solution. That is why your chi is here. When I tell you that spirits perform different kind of functions, which is why I leave offerings. Maybe your chi is a kind of energy or spirits that likes, okay, oh, I like to help children. I like to help troubled children. And your chi is coming to live in this world. And why your chi is coming to this world is to help troubled children. And tomorrow you now bring up this day you put your chin inside and you're feeding it blood. And your chin and you're there. You're there in a way to make market. You're not doing anything useful. You're not helping the children. Your chin will still be hungry because what your chin actually wants to eat, you are not feeding it to your chin. Your child will not be in a book about the book as no base. No, I'll be all bad. No, I'm not one. No. If I'm all bad, that's what he came to do. Until you start doing it. You like be killing Nama every every day. That you're feeding your chi. Your chi will never be fed. 
I want to tell you vampire now, but in America, I'm You let us know if your cheese is a vampire that drinks blood. It's a different thing when you want to do when you want to do saraka for your chi. I'm not against that. We do saraka all the time. We can do it during our birthday. You can just do it when you when you when your chi when you see the need to actually do this. Because in doing saraka, your chi is also feeding the needy, or feeding people around, or marrying, or self self adulation. When your God tells you, your, your Bible tells you that God is I am that I am. Did he call himself any, anything? He, because he did not put himself inside anything. I am that I am. It's everything you see. There's that God in everything. There's that energy in everything. All part of the same source. That is why we must come back to our God self. That is why we need to connect to our roots, to our ancestors. Because it is even when you start connecting to them, they can come and teach you things. They can come and tell you things that this thing is like this. We want you to repair this thing. We want you to do this thing well. They keep looking for someone to send on this message. Ah, this thing is no longer the way I kept it. I need it fixed. Oh, this is why this is not happening. You, you need to fix this. That is it. Otsu, otsu, kwa deronimia. But we are not much interested in growing spiritually. Most people that are even coming back, let your motivation for coming back to your roots not be because you're looking for quick money. That's why you continue to be scammed. Because the only reason you want to go back to tradition is you feel like it's an need to get quick money. Nollywood has fried your brain. That you believe the only thing, if you visit a doctor, you just have money overnight. It is not true. Can the spirits open your way? Yes, they can. Can they make your business to soar? Yes, they can. But it's not by. <laughs> yeah, you don't go to native doctor. No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. If any native doctor is giving you anything, it's temporal. From their source. Without you connecting to your own source, it is temporal. And it comes with when you are still in good terms. When you stop giving, they cut off. They stop thinking about you. And you are cut off that, that hot spot. Be, that hot spot you will cut off from your life. You start encountering whatever it is you are encountering again. Without you truly, that is what majority, because most of them, na hunger called them. Not that some of them are real, but are hunger motivated. Stomach infrastructure motivated. So most times they want to dependence. That anything you want, you have to keep coming back. Most of you that ask me if I keep sending you back, please, this thing you're asking me, go back to the video. Educate yourself. Listen and ask your own questions. Don't come and be disturbing me. You want to come and disturb me, bring money. I'm nobody's servant. I pass the message. I use this medium. I thank goodness for social media. The engineers, the software developers, I, I thank you all. This is a great platform. They give this teaching, leave it for those who want to actually learn. But most people are not interested in learning. That's why I can if I am a gun bute, I didn't bute a gay bute. And I will go back. All this over offer, DBS, you will figure out a logo. Okay, the here and there. If for, in five years from now, or less than five years, the way men will be falling in Igbo, the way the way the way they will be falling, young chaps, the way they will be falling, oh yeah, the way. Because what people are now doing just to get quick, quick money, quick money. If your motivation of coming back to your ancestors is just because of money, they will look at you and they will just ignore you. They are intelligent beings. Where did you get your intelligence from? Where is it? An apple does not fall far from the tree. You think you are a user. Before you move from point A to point B, they already know. If okay, to pull anywhere for what I can even on the tallest cannot see. 
So before you start playing all those your tantrums, uh, when I just get what I have, I'll just go back to that, I'll just do this, I'll just do that. Oh, oh wow, okay. You're coming to use us, the hit and run. You want to want them to give you, you will hit the wealth and then sack. Or hit whatever it is and then sack. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. They are brilliant. How my faith? They are intelligent beings. They know what you're up to. They know what's up. They pick up your energy. They know who is coming to actually, actually relate and familiarize with them. And they know those who are coming to use. Uh, what, what should I do? I want my business. Or telling somebody to make peace with their city. They are looking for what to do for their business. Get a chick in the number. Will you be talking about business? Get a chick in the number. Fianazo. Someone that has a shop or has a business and is not working. Who say no way to your job? Ill luck. Good luck is actually to your man. So when you're in good terms, won't you have to your man? What will you be looking for? I'm telling you to make me, you're asking what should I do for my business to move. Please get off my inbox. Because you're not reasoning fine. We are not interested in growth. Sometimes I just charge people to make them to just run away from my inbox and it actually helps. I told someone to do simple ritual to connect to the Achi and to the waters. And he's telling me I should help him and beg them. I said, I'm your servant, I'm your house help. I will leave what I'm doing. I will leave my work. <laughs> then I'll help you. I wake up and I'll not say, eh, chichuama, eh, chinka, eh, chia, yeah, man. I will leave what I'm doing. And I will, I will not be every day. I said, okay. Your charge is 10, 10 million naira for a start. For the I said, eh, what do you say? You, I thought you want to employ me. I'm telling you my salary so that I can be doing it. I, I need to have motivation. Even you that is watching me, the work you do, you have motivation for doing it. Something you fall back to after using your whole time to do that work. So why should I, why, why should I be begging your chief every day and I don't get paid for it? I'm supposed to be getting paid. I'm doing your job. That was I. He, he did not chat again. Let's move beyond. Money is good. Yes, money is good. Ah, I love money. Jim Okwege good. But you cannot control me with money. You cannot impress me with money. Many have tried. You cannot. I will. I will. Tell you what I want to tell you, come as you did, Diego. If you're, if, you're the, if you're the provider of the air I breathe, and you're, you're misbehaving, I will tell you what I want to tell you, shut the air, I won't die. Instead of me to have that air and be watching you do nonsense, I will speak, cut off my supply. You can't, you can't control how I reason or what I do. If I'm ruled by money, ah, but now the kind of offers I get by now, ah, uh, now, but now, by now, for don't build like uh, how many houses, build hotels, have enough money, but you cannot change my principles. You can't do that. What is already possible? Mama, I will disappoint you. If you collect that money, I will still do it. I won't do. Kaziego be best it was your mom wife face a woman. We need to evolve beyond being controlled by paper. This paper can change anytime. See the way dollar is just controlling naira. Can change anytime. I work for Gus where down in Nigeria Kita. All the all that money, that your 10 million naira where they your account. You don't turn dust. It is gone. And that is what is controlling you. It is gone. So we think we control you next. Now hunger will control you next. <laughs> That's the only real and constant. Thing. 
we need to evolve beyond stop coming back to your roots stop coming back to your ancestors because you're looking for money that's a wrong motive because a man fear come as family when you're my family when you're my friend i will not struggle to look for something to do for you it will come naturally to me that hey i need to do this naturally i want to do things for you naturally i would want to do something give you something make you happy ah we are in good terms if i'm like if i'm, if I'm like this somewhere i will say ah ah this clothes will be good this clothes will be good on kenya reason hey this clothes will be good let me order this clothes and send it to him hey this position this promotion this promotion will be good for 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 um Ozioma Oko. let me let me pull strings let me let me put it in let me put it in his in, in, in our boss in our boss mind to promote her and suddenly let me let me let me make her shine let, that's anytime this boss sees her he wants you wants to or she wants to promote her and they clear that part for you and then we'll ah, what do you do when you get this position? But what, what did you do to get this position? And what did you do to get this boat? Ah, that's a small girl, small boy with big God pulling strings from behind for you. Divine strings. <laughs> but when your major aim, your major aim is to actually, uh, give me money, give me money, give me money. You never even create a relation. Now, person, when you get a relationship with you, they ask for money. I cannot walk into your inbox now and start telling you to give me money. But if we are friends, or maybe we've had a relationship and I say, okay, let me beg this person. And if you have, you will say, okay, I'll give you. If you don't have, you tell me no, you don't have. Because if we are friends, you would want to help me. But when we are not friends and I walk up to you and I tell you, give me, who are you? Where are you coming from? Are you coming to ask? Did you give me any money to give for you? I will meet you with a, I will likely meet you with a rude response. So we need to actually do better when we are trying to retrace and reconnect to ourselves. We need to do better. We need to go with a heart of sincerity, open hearts, open mind to accept ourselves, to accept who we are, to accept our source, to accept our undi chie. My chie, what can my chie and why? To accept them. To understand when they are, if you're always fighting, most spirit is always pursuing. Try to speak to your conscious self. I do not want to run away from my ancestors anymore. I do not, sorry, I do not want to run away from myself. I want to connect. I want to embrace. Over time, you will see the mask spirit will not come again. Even if it comes this time, it will give you a message or it will remove the mask and show you the face behind it. Okay, I'm looking more. So we need to open up our heart and connect in sincerity and in truth. And it's only one way, one truth, and the light. When Jesus tells you, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And is it light? No one comes to the Father except who is that Father? Who is that mother? Talking about connecting to your roots. Except through me, the way, the truth. Even the way you used to come is through your ancestors. The two of your ancestors no come, you know, they here. Yes. If they did not do sediment, could you have to say you know, you know, they here. That's how children are made. That's how offsprings are made. They are the way through which you came here. Without them, you know, go land. You couldn't come to your father except through your mother. That's the way it works. Balance. Even as I'm talking to you, I'm getting downloads. 
downloads. When I say you're reading your Bible, you read it with your number six. You read it with your third eye, your sense. You'll be marveled at the truth and codes you'll be unlocking. And then, you'll be marveled. I think that it is time to round up this. We need to connect to our ancestors. I'm particular about our ancestors. Why? Because they are the ones, they are the ascended ones you would want to have something to do with. I'm sure you don't want yourself dealing with a forefather that killed you, that killed you in your past life <laughs> or that killed people or maybe that committed one big atrocity even though he must have realized and he's trying to get back here to make it right. You don't want yourself doing that. There are some people that even when they die, they will still become agile more. That's how you get out. There are people that, as human beings, they are wicked. They are evil. When they still die, they will remain evil. They are agile mother. When they still die, they become agile more, evil spirits. We need to understand all this. We need to start, we need to start getting in line. Your other sister see masquerade. Now your ancestors now in the flogger. So she should better start connecting. The better, the earlier for her, the better for her. I've heard of a guy. <laughs> the flogger finished. It already more is real. Spiritual flogging. Spiritual beating. If you never collect, I don't collect. It already more is very real. As in, it will flog you finish here. Eh? You, you go wake up. You go see the mark. The mark go there your body. You know, say you chop beating. This particular guy, they were they were beating him. They were asking him who is beating you. He was they could not see who was beating. He was rolling on the floor. And now we are meeting. But he cannot see who is beating him. Did they finally remember you? Did they finally remember you? Uh, I pray that it doesn't get it doesn't get bad. It doesn't get bad. And they'll have to put you in chain before you realize who you are. Your ancestors, those who bled for you, those who, who gave you the food you eat, the clothes you wear, whatever it is you see now, the land you lived in. The first people, and then born and there get it, written so Sodogu Martin Johnson. Your ancestors cannot scare you. You're the one that wants to be scared. Because of societal conditioning. You're scared because your ancestor came to you in your dream. But when you see a white man in your dream, you're happy. You say, it's Jesus. Is he not a dead person too? You see a white, a white man in your dream, you're so happy. Ooh, an angel visited me. Ooh. Hey. When you see a very dark man in your dream. Hey, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost. You saw, you saw a reflection of yourself and you're like, Holy Ghost fire. When you see a white man. Oh. Angel okay. Oh, who told the angels look that way? Angels do not look that way. They don't look that way. When you see angels, they actually look horrible and scary. They are the scary ones. When you eventually you see them, they are different shapes and forms. But you cannot even name anything on this earth. So stop looking for fine fine face that you use as angel. We should actually be ashamed of ourselves that when our ancestors actually appear, we are binding and casting them. But the moment you see a white man, you don't want to know because everything that is white is good. All that is black is evil. That means you and I, we are evil because we are black. That's the brainwash. That is how bad it has become. That is how bad we've been conditioned. The darkness gives birth to the light. The darkness brings forth the light. It is the darkness that bets the light. It is from the darkness that the light was called forth. So even dark is good. There is duality in everything. And even light can be evil. There is duality. That is the beauty of nature. If you are positive here, when negative. Okay, Polomaya, all positive and negative. That is how you work electricity. Positive, positive and negative coming together. All the answers you're looking for, it is there. It is in nature. Feeling in at all, it is there. You're going to call it physics or whatever, but physics is nature. 
Biology is nature. Chemistry is nature. Mathematics is nature. Everything is nature. We just gave it tags. That makes it look so complex before us. What do we have to do? Keep saying when we go back to our roots, we are going to do a lot. The first blacksmith, goldsmith, goldsmith, different smith, and all the smith and all the smith in this world. Igbos, our ancestors, Africans. That is them. Different iron smelting companies. Different hubs. The first doctors, nurses, everything, engineers, architects, Africans. Civilization started where? In Africa. So tell me again how a, a white person brought you civilization because I do not understand the story very well. How did they bring you civilization? How? When it started right here. The white people we talk about, these people know they bath. Farah Asar. They don't know what cleanliness is all about. Now here they come calling, say then they bath. People that live outside, you can bear witness to they know they bath. They don't. These people they don't cook meat. They like to eat it together with the blood. Now as they come here, they don't say that half done when you see them they cook today. Now as they come here, they come no say you can actually cook your food. So who discovered the fire for the cooking? Your ancestors. Those that use the woods, jam them together until fire sparks. Those that use the, the stones, jam them together until fire starts. Those are your ancestors. Those that knew different. I've made a video on that already. I, I joined it with a different kind of video. Watch the water ritual I posted on my YouTube. You can still use it to connect. Use water. Because when we are coming, we come through the primordial waters and when we go, we return to the primordial waters. It's like a, it's, it's like a, a portal, a point of entry. It is everything, the source, the beginning and the end. The alpha and the omega. What if I told you, even as we are here now, we are in water. We are floating. Do you not know that? So watch that water ritual. Use that tip I tossed there. Use it to try to connect to them. It works. Exactly. We must unite both our darkness and our goodness in order to be complete here on exactly. Exactly. That is what we need. We need to embrace that energy. Because even on a very good day, our ancestors will still use the evil spirits to punish the offenders. It's the only that I can do. <laughs> They'll say when you hire assassin here to do your death, they can hire and they are you to do their work. They will not come and frustrate you by themselves. And those ones, they like mischief. They will come and frustrate your life. So when they tell you you have a Kaugoli, ask where their Kaugoli is coming from. But it's not enough. You tie those ones, they send another set to you. It's your part. You can never ever go to this. You have to go to this. And then we go to Except maybe in the world. You cannot do spiritual husband separation. It's not possible. I've said this before. It's on my video. You can go there and help yourself to it. We need to start embracing ourselves, like I said. Ako gida, ako gida, ako, to, to look as if we are moving around. Because one thing will surely get another thing. Uh -huh. If I have strength tomorrow or later Sunday, we are going to talk about the four seasons of Igbo cosmology. I've not talked about it before. I don't think I've talked about it before. Or, or maybe I just brushed it one time in one of my old videos. I'm going to talk about Ogaka, Ogaze. Oga, Ogachi, um, Oga, Ogachi. I'm going to talk about 
these four seasons and what it represents and how we lived in all those seasons and where we are currently and what is happening now. So you begin to understand and be aware of your environment. Hmm? If you if you snooze, you all have a wonderful night. When I say that I'm ending this video, it's becoming too long. So I'm ending it. When I say, may the universe bless and protect you all. May your ancestors stay with be with you. May your ancestors guide and protect you. May they carry you like a baby. When they may they carry you like a child. Hmm? You all have a beautiful night. Rest. Blessings. Blessings. Blessings.